Okay. Oh, yeah. All now right. That was a beautiful countdown by Elena. <laughs> Give did. it up for <laughs> <Four. laughs> <Four>. go. <laughs> I started at 10 and I was like, why did I do this? You should have started at five. This is so many numbers. <laughs> Three, two, one. We're, we're starting it back um, at 2000. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Welcome to the feed back we, where we don't to talk it. about feedback that you've given us yeah. about G4 TV. We're just talking, uh, it's a, the feed. Yeah. The actual segment, the feed, and it's the kickback. The only the show where the first five minutes are discussing the name. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Uh, we always, always yeah. do. This has been tradition at the moment. Uh, if you're new here, hi. This is G4 TV. Uh, are you lost? Might I be. hope not. Maybe. I hope not. But I hope you enjoy. And are stay, you hate rating out. us? Are you hate rating us? <laughs> Maybe, who knows? But you should probably just stick around. We're, we're kind of funny, right? Tie me in at, I at, my, so. at my best. I don't know. Uh, I've I'm, been subscribed <laughs> to Chicago's most kind of funny comedian. Yeah, this guy's like, <laughs> like this guy's like number one comedian in Chicago. Yeah. This is like the number one. I'm the number one comedian the in Chicago in Los Angeles. Yeah, you're the <laughs> Chicago dog. You're the only one that was able to escape. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, name one other famous Chicago comedian. <laughs> um, I'm Fiona Nova, uh, your host for The Feedback, and joined with me today is Case Blackwell, yeah. the amazing uh, writer, producer, sure, all around, essentially keeping the lights <laughs> on at G4 TV. The keeper of the fort. The keeper of the fort. And then we've got uh, Lena behind the behind the screen. You'll hear her disembodied voice. Uh, Hello. Who helps us yeah. make this. And we upped her volume. We heard the yes. We heard the feedback about oh, the feedback. Incredible. Uh, we're gonna up her volume so we can hear her beautiful and amazing voice. Mm. Let us know in chat if I'm still too low. We'll we'll fix it. We'll fix I it. I can hear you. I hear I hear great, but it seemed like she, you guys hear it. the wrong thing unfortunately oh. yeah you don't hear the accurate levels uh hi guys i'm reading chat uh today we have a lot to talk about as oh, yeah. we do because we missed out on yesterday because three yesterday. hot days of news three <laughs> well maybe like five there's actually some some news that we weren't able to hit uh mm -hmm. friday but Anyways, so uh, I know that we talked about, uh, gosh, when did we talk about this? The Army Hammer Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we talked about it Friday. The Secret Ingredient. I watched it people. that, yeah, <laughs> I watched it that night, the Army Hammer documentary. Um, I wa it's three episodes on Discovery Plus. I had to get Discovery Plus, which I will say, surprising, I like it. I like the streaming service. Yeah. Because it has so many things. It has a lot of like TV 
Mm -hmm. Like like things you could kind of keep in the background and like. And they haven't folded that into HBO Max. Not yet. Not yet. I think it's spring twenty twenty three. Yeah, it has not happened. But I actually don't mind. Mm. So I will keep my subscription for Discovery Plus. But uh, I watched it uh, three episodes. Uh, What the? I I was like, oh, so so twisted. So first of all, we talk about Army for maybe like forty five minutes. Mm-hmm. The rest of it is just the store, like, like e- everything before him. Yeah. There's Armand, Armand Hammer, right? <laughs> Armand Hammer, who is great grandfather. Which I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, he he had like an oil company. He had an oil company. So is he is he part? Did does he own Armand Hammer the yes. baking soda? Yeah. Okay. So that Armand Hammer thing mm-hmm. is actually a communist R- Russia symbol. Oh yeah. Symbol. Yeah. That's how, that's where he got. I blew my mind. I was like, "Wait, what?" Was he a was he a good old commie? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because he mind. had ties to the Soviet Union and KGB. Ooh. It okay. blew my mind. I was like, "What?" Okay. Anyways, so there's that. Then there was um, his son Julian. Okay. Julian was also shattering the naming. And, and that's convention. Army's grandfather. Ar- Should have been Julie Arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Julian had a son, Michael. And he had a daughter named Casey, okay. mm-hmm. who was never mentioned anywhere. But Casey, the, her, the aunt of Army, essentially wrote a story, wrote a book about her family, mm-hmm. like all the things she dealt with with her family. Okay. Uh, didn't get, like, no one knew about it up until, like, the, this Army, the Army Hammer thing happened. Okay. Um, uh, and so, and her book was called "Surviving My Birthright." If anyone wants yeah. to read it or look it up, um, blew my mind. Uh, then Michael, yeah, Michael's the brother. Michael's like, and then there's Army. Uh, Michael, <laughs> uh, it was my, Michael, and then someone else. Uh, yeah, uh, Michael is Army's father. Uh, father. Okay. So all four men. Yep. It's the same. They went down the same exact. Like they were just. So messed up. They were all cannibal they were actors. They all I mean, cursed behavior. They were just. It was just cursed behavior. Like, ah. like the dad. Like, people. What was it? Um, I think Casey's father, Julian, sh- shot a gun at her. She was holding like a yell, like a book, and shot a gun at her. Okay. Like it was. Uh, there, yeah. That was just one of those weird. He would things. just brandish firearms all the time yeah, at yeah. parties for fun, oh. and, and she, then they that, made a party game out of it with his own daughter. And she also, she also fully ha- saw pictures of him getting like, Mm-mm. like fellatio, like oral uh. sex by like. Very young women, like imagine, uh, imagine seeing that from your father. Like I, I, mm. I can only imagine how messed up that okay. would be. Anyways, Army Epstein. Army Damn. Epstein. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So uh, this is like the article uh, here. Hammer comes from a lineage of abusive and troubled. Oh, men. troubled. That's mm-hmm. one way to put troubled. it. Troubled. Yeah. It's essentially like I'm just having a rough day. Like I, I might like shoot my daughter. Wives, yeah. Uh, um. Treated just, I think clearly they treated women like objects. Did not see them as equal. Human which beings, is, you know, which in the lot. same vein as every other rich. And they treat young gay men like dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's essential. And then the thing with Army was that he, that's the thing that you could tell that was so messed up was with Army, he, um, <laughs> he was doing this all through his Instagram. Like oh. there is like oh yeah no I saw those screenshots th- but like the screenshots it's like do you have no shame like do you have like you couldn't even use like a fake account or like pretend- <laughs> he's on main he's on main never do cannibalism on main <laughs> it's bl- it blew my mind like you can't even like think like it's, it just I think if you're handsome said. enough you just assume everything will work out and regardless of what you do and rich, yeah, and rich. like coming from that untouchable family like at one point uh, that fortune was like the sixteenth most profitable co- corporation in the world. Like Ooh. they're super, super yeah. rich. Untouchable. But like that's, I think that's why he just felt untouchable. And yeah. and Army, so Army, A R M I E. Uh-huh. Basically, the grandfather Armand yeah. was like, this is gonna be the golden child. So not <laughs> only, not only like is he already messed up, but yeah. like he's given everything. He's named Army after Armand. Yeah. The the the. The one everyone mm-hmm. was like, uh, um, and then Casey, uh, Casey was saying like how she couldn't watch Succession because that's basically her family. It's too close to it's, home. It's too close to home. Yeah. Oh. 
So cannibalism plot yeah. confirmed for secession. Yeah. Uh, uh, John, Three? John, Three, four? <laughs> John Mateson on, uh, on, in chat. Is he part of the Arm and Hammer fortune? Yes, yes. he is. Yes, yeah. he is. Yes. And I, and, and also just blew my mind that the Arm and Hammer <laughs> was a communist symbol. It's like a oh, hammer like and sickle. Yeah. And I would have never. The logo. I just like never thought, I never put two and two together. Let's, I'll, I'll pull up the logo so everyone can see it. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of wild. I just like was like, okay, well that, I guess that makes sense. It, like when I saw, it, I was like, okay, shocking, but also not shocking, because of course. That is kind of wild that they named their kid Army Hammer and their yeah. companies like. Yeah. Like yeah. if you name your kid like Nabisco Cookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll to get Nabisco <laughs> Cookie. Like that is a level of obsession with your own brand that is um, impressive. All right, guys, let's look at this logo real quick. Yeah. Standard of purity. <laughs> yeah. That's and and I never I never made the connection i never thought of it but it's that that arm looks delicious yeah. the, the, mm. the rolla the rolla on this on a ch in chat says i want to name my child depends diapers <laughs> yeah come on <laughs> if you're part of the depends fortune you gotta you know believe in the brand yeah it's so yeah so um if you guys have discovery plus um watch it it's, it's like a it's a good watch you get like it's intense um it's three hours three hours um you get a lot of information and Surprisingly, there's also a lot of stuff on Discovery Plus. Yeah. Um, and if you think your DMs are wild, Google Army Hammers. Google they will, Army, <laughs> dude. They I will mean, impress you. They'll take it to another blew level. Blew my mind. But yeah, so that was that was a fun thing. And then I also we did talk about dated, dated and related, which Ooh, is the new which incest. I, I did watch. No, it's not an incest show, but like it's the new incest marketed. Show. Incest it's, marketed show, which sometimes it, during the show. Well, first of all, we both watched it. I yeah. mean, I watched. Like, I watched. Whole, I watched a bit of it. I watched kind of the whole thing, not the whole thing, whole thing, but kind of the whole thing. <laughs> um, and. Uh, that's what I say whenever I watch something called, you know, Yeah, it, well, well, first of all, it was, there's these two guys in this show that are so, they speak, they're obviously like either 20 or 21. Yeah. They speak in such a bro TikTok language, mm -hmm. every single word they say, and I'm like, that's, that's absolutely insane. I forgot their names, but they're brothers. Jason and Chris. Jason and Chris. Yeah, they're cousins. Um, they're cousins. They're cousins. <laughs> they're not, yeah. they're, they're, That's they're, my favorite part is like the weirdest people on the show are cousins. Cousins are always yeah, the best for just being so, psychos. Yeah, they're just so... Uh, they they yeah. got like a Tom Cruise look. They basically describe themselves as, as like ladies men, but it's a loose definition. They That show was also... It was kind of boring. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. They're the two white guys in the kind of in the back there. Yeah. They're in the, look, they're, look, yeah, the, the, with the green guys? shorts. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah they yeah. are so funny to me. Like watching it, that was the only entertainment I got from it was those two guys because they were saying the most insane yeah. things. They're like objectively, you know, probably pretty good looking guys. Yeah. But oh man, as soon as they open their mouths, dude, it, as it, soon <laughs> as they say a word, you're like. Immediately, the, uh, most off. of the show is just women like trying to talk to them and being yeah, like, yeah, yeah. "I think I need to go get a. I gotta <laughs> yeah. go to the bathroom. I think I've I think I shit my pants. I just make any excuse to get out of the conversation." <laughs> yeah, so um, that show is like nothing. I, I'm not gonna say no recommendation. No, I have no recommendation for it. It is very, very much the same dating show as you would watch any other dating show. It, it, it does start off kind of still teasing like the incest premise, yeah. but then it just becomes a normal You could tell there was show. like some weird, it's like they're trying to... They're like trying to like make your head go there a little bit, and then they're like... Yeah, and then they're like, nope. They're like, no, you're but, being weird. Yeah, but... But they do sleep in the same bed. They do sleep in the same bed, no, and also they're what? looking lovingly in each other's Yeah. Head. Oh, and then they kiss each other like on the cheeks, <laughs> and it's like, it's like, okay, There fine. is one brother-sister couple, that, and most of it is just them kind of giving each other like really sincere advice and kind of steamy looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little it's, weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. Yeah. I don't know. And you're not missing out if you don't no. watch it. Uh, so just beep, beep. a quick, re yeah, those were just some quick reviews on um, yes, the shows we talked about yes, last at Friday. length for two episodes. <laughs> Army Hammer, check it out. And then Dated Related, related. which... If you're bored. If you're bored. Yeah, <laughs> if you want it. Okay, uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to actually jump into some news uh, and some things like Elon Musk. Yeah, the Musk is... He's back, he's He back. never left. The he's Musk. back again. He's back. Okay, uh, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
And we're back. We're back. Welcome back. Um, so Elon Musk this morning, uh, there's a new Lord of the Rings show called Power of the Rings. Rings Might have heard of Rings it. Rings of Power. Okay. Um, and I have not watched it, so I have really no I have. idea. You have. You watched the. Wait. I watched both. Or yeah, there's just two. Right um, so Elon Musk, I'm gonna pull up like the tweet first of all. So Elon Musk have... tasted some clams. He didn't. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Elon Musk tweeted this out. If it loads, it's not loading for me. The internet has stopped for me. Oh, no. Uh, okay, no, it said... He said... Okay, no, he want... said, yeah. Tolkien is turning in his grave. Mm. Tw 23 hours ago, he wrote that. Because he's then, so excited so for excited. the new show. He's rolling around. And then Elon Musk said, almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. Ah. Uh. Only Gal Galadriel? Galadriel. Galadriel is brave, smart, and nice. <laughs> nice. Oh. Um, I'm so mad of, about male characters not being nice enough. <laughs> yeah, so es it's Escalating Feud with Jeff Bezos. This is the title of the New York Post. Like, Elon Musk pans Amazon's Lord of the Rings Escalating Feud with Jeff Bezos. Do you think for one second Jeff Bezos gives a shit? Uh, I think maybe. Maybe. On Elon Musk's review of his show yeah. that he just promoted on his Twitter, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I true. don't think Jeff Bezos gives Jeff a Jeff Bezos is just, is just refreshing the Metacritic page um, constantly for Lord yeah. Rings of Power. So the first two episodes premiered. So you watched the two episodes, I right? Did. How did, did you feel about it? You know, it just felt like Galadriel was the only character that was uh, brave and nice. Right. Oh, you have the same feedback. <laughs> I mean, as. The, uh, uh, that is a very hot take, I guess. Uh, that did not stick out to me in the show. It kind of just feels like, um, you know, Lord of the Rings, but drawn out over a series with new characters. Yeah. It, I think it's, it's pretty solid. It, it, it hooked me along to the next episode for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Well. You know, there's nice dwarves. Seems like there's some nice elves, some of which are guys. So. The thing is that um, I'm not even going to read the New York Post thing because it doesn't have really any info about the the, the, the bigger thing is that Neil Neil Gaiman 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 Neil Gaiman then essentially retweets talks to towards Elon Musk and says Elon Musk doesn't come to me for advice on how to fail to buy Twitter and I don't go to him for film TV or literature Whoa. criticism. Damn. Neil yeah. Gaiman is just another male not presenting himself as nice. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm just confused. Like, what? Okay, Elon Musk, maybe I'm, I just, you It's know, just, you I know, don't... another classic reactionary take. Oh, they're making men look bad, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. Is that the case? Like, yeah. I mean, that's, like, what he's, that's what he's trying to do. Almost every male character so far is a coward. Like, It is insane what? to me that you would watch that show. And, that and that's what take. you got out. Also, there's, like, a bunch of explicitly brave dudes in the show. There's, like, a, an yeah. elf that goes underground and, like, tries to save a civil, like, save a town that he's not even involved in. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It's all, it's all classic hero stuff. It's just, yeah. It's like, and also, like, you're going to tweet that? I mean, what he wanted to tweet probably was, how come these elves are black? Yeah, and then, yeah, he, yeah. And then oh. he's like, oh, I guess I can't do that. Okay, so that was <laughs> another thing I saw was that, yeah, the elves were black and people were not happy about oh, it. Yeah. And that they were not uh, accurate to the movies. But then there was a whole thread, oh, not the movies, the books. But then there, were the, there was a whole thread about how not accurate, like, I'll just say, like, Harry Potter was mm. one. Mm. Um, Hunger Games was another one where yes. they were, well, it is accurate, but they just... I'm afraid as a culture, we are legally required to have the same conversation it's on loop yeah, for the next like 40 the years same. about the same exhaustingly it's stupid the topic. same thing. We understand it is racism, <laughs> point blank. Uh, you can't accept that elves can be black. I well, get it. You know. That's fine. That's fine. Like, it's not fine, but like, whatever. I just like, it just, yeah, it's like everyone's like using... They're using the excuse, oh, it's not accurate to the books, mm -hmm. but really a lot of media is not accurate to yeah. the yeah. books. And it's literal fantasy. It's literal and fantasy. It's they have flying dragons. Literal fantasy. Yeah, yeah. It's, as long as Daffy Duck is black. Dude, as long as <laughs> Daffy Duck is ca yeah. canonly. <laughs> Daffy Duck canon is black. <laughs> Bugs Bunny, yeah. he's actually Filipino. Not yeah, a lot of people yeah. know this. I mean, yeah, it could be. <laughs> Marvin the Martian? German. Uh, German. It's gotta think be, be German. Oh, one hundred. Or black. No, you yeah, no, no, because his <laughs> color is black. Yeah. The literal color black. Um, yeah, no, that does suck, but I mean I I could not 
it's just like if you watch that show and the thing that sticks out to you is that the race black, of the elves that's, that is it, that's <laughs> you you're the problem you're absolutely the problem these dwarves are short but they're the wrong color <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's very i don't know oh and then someone slim pick says uh, plus, these are new characters made for the show. So there's really no excuse. So. Oh, there, there's a nice word, made. All of these things are made up. <laughs> made. First, of all, first of all, they're fake. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to spoil this for you. Spoiler alert. All of this is imaginary. Uh, yeah, so whatever. Anyways, okay, so... Okay. Yeah. I mean, fine. In good news, the show seems fine to me. Seems fine? I honestly, okay. you like when Lord of the Rings? The You're going to probably episode? like the show. When's the next episode coming out? I think they're coming out every Friday. Friday? Okay. Um, yeah. The next episode. How many, how many episodes are they going to have? Um, pr- uh, I will find 300. out. 300. <laughs> 300 episodes. Uh, yeah, okay. Slander and lies. Let's see. Uh, Rings of Power episodes. It's probably going to be like I'm guessing nine ten. or ten. Yeah. Um, or they don't know. Do Put your not? guesses in chat, guys. Okay, someone said there's eight. Exterminator 13. Yeah, 13. apparently they're all insanely expensive to make. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's like Stranger Things. They started mm-hmm. making like full, like they made eight, basically eight movies. Like it's eight episodes. It's just eight movies yeah. they made. It's like absolutely, I don't know, five seasons of 10 episodes each. Wow. Five seasons? They, five what? Five seasons. The rest of the eight episodes for a season, right? 200 There's episodes, eight episodes in this season oh, running until joking. October 14th. Dag it on Trips was... Twitch was joking. Yeah. I mean, you know, there'll be as many seasons there, as there is profit to milk out of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, whatever. It's, if, if you guys like it, I'm glad. I love I'm, how nice Galadriel is. Yeah. Um, okay. And then on some other news, the Artemis launch did get canceled again, which we oh. kind of called. Mm-hmm. We kind of said it was going to probably not happen again. They're going to. But um, uh, this is the. Keep pushing it back until we're right on the cusp of Doomsday. Yeah. Then you launch is, it. The, yeah. This <laughs> is the tweet uh, update. The team continues to troubleshoot and plans to return with a variety of options early next week, which is now. We are standing down on any launch attempts throughout the current launch period, which ends. Tuesday. And they use another photo that makes it look like God is coming. God is coming. <laughs> so God is coming down to rain his so terror. Righteous vengeance upon us. For God is coming and he is not Attempting happy. to escape our <laughs> I earthly mean, a beautiful confines. shot, but yeah. Beautiful, but uh, just no. always slightly threatening. Ominous. <laughs> it's always slightly threatening and ominous. Um, so it seems like, I'm re- going to read the article a little bit. Uh, after standing down on today's Artemis 1 launch attempt when engineers could not overcome a hydrogen leak. Mm. Mm. Okay, so in, uh, in a quick disconnect, an interface between the liquid hydrogen fuel feed line and the space. Sure, I know none of this, but like essentially there was a gas leak. That's what I was told. It was a gas leak from the previous, the reason why they stopped last time. Mm. Yeah. But, um, okay, so there's a leak. So all the scientists are high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're getting... Uh, yeah, so to meet the requirement by the Eastern Range for the certification on the flight termination system, mm. currently set at 25 days, NAS, 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 NASA, why can't I pronounce it perfectly? NASA. NASA will need to roll the rocket and spacecraft back to the VAB. Oh, so see that that's a really launch like, attempt. That I makes saw, it sound like way less than it is when you have to roll a rocket. Yeah. There's like an insane industrial. Th- that is like a huge it's a to giant bring it back to the like basically the the what the what do they call it? They, they call it the VAB. But Lena, what's that novel slash movie where they have to roll cities around on like giant wheels? Uh, you guys remember that? I have no idea what you're talking the about. Hunger no. The Hunger Games. I keep saying The Hunger Games. Was it like so, someone will someone will tell us in chat? Someone will probably like tell us in chat. Maze like, Runners. <laughs> no, it's something else. It's Ready Player Mortal One. Engines. But mortal like the stuff engine. they use mortal to move engines. around these spacecraft are like Mortal Engine style, yeah, yeah, yeah. just gigantic machines. If you've ever been to uh, like Cape Canaveral or something, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see them, and they are legitimately huge. insane. Yeah. So the fact they have to do that is no small. No, thing. it's not. Like to bring back the rocket into like the hunker or like the place mm-hmm. to fix it. That's probably a lot. I did um, see a, a tweet that was really funny where it was just like a picture of like a, an upset tow truck guy being like, this is the only person who's really affected by this <laughs> launch. Rescheduling yeah. these, he just says to tow the thing again. Yeah. yeah. The machines they use to move the rockets are almost as complicated yeah, the as house, the rockets. Housefish, Housefish basically said like rolling a giant si- skyscraper around. Yeah, it really it's is. Like, it's crazy. And then Martian Bond said that's like a good month of gas for a few mm-hmm. cars. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like... It's yeah. it's a lot. That's so that's a big thing. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, this Artemis launch is not they gonna said happen. Like to- or twenty five days from now. I time? just have a. I, I just. But well, when have we should comment, scientists little... did say we will not be stopped no matter what the cost. A you gas leak us. is like. 
like that shouldn't happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's, that's Certainly, like, rocket launch and gas leak are two you know, uh, phrases you don't want. Uh, yeah, the gas leak is absolutely insane. Like, I, I just don't know how there could be a gas leak. There's something fundamentally wrong with the rocket. I am picturing your control room, though, just full of super high scientists being right. like, well, this is crazy, man. This what if we did, crazy. like, three rockets? Why? Yeah, dude? dude, what is... Honestly, just how? launch the thing. Like, yeah. This is well, such babies. So, yeah, beep, so beep. it's not happening. Uh, but we have a lot of other sources. I'm calling that, that it will happen. It'll happen at some point, duh, but it's just like... A leak is not supposed to ha like that is a bad thing. I, I do feel like some like, kind of sci-fi disaster is going to yeah. go down when it does happen, but yeah, you know, so we're waiting for that. Control freak said so much for going back to the moon. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back with some more stories. So stick around and don't leave too fast. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Welcome back to the gas leak. The gas leak. The Artemis One launch gas yeah, leak. Yeah, we're living in the gas. We're leaking some <laughs> hydrogen fuel. Um, okay, so we wanted to watch uh, Wendell and Wild. I'm assuming is out now. Is that why there's the trailer that? Or Ooh. it's not out. Is it time for another trailer it's break? It's coming then? soon. It's coming soon. Okay. Wendell and Wild is October 28th. Yeah, and I got this story from Martian Bond uh, 007 from Discord. So thank you for that. Um, there is a trailer that we would like to watch, and it is by, or it's like, uh, Jordan Peele is involved in some way, uh, probably executive producer mm -hmm. or creator. He did tweet this out. Um, let's see. Let me look up. It's him and Henry Selleck of, um, like, Corpse Bride and yeah. Night Before, Nightmare Before Christmas fame. So yeah. That, uh, Famous stop, stop animation. This is, yeah, this is the tweet. From the delightfully wicked minds of Henry Selleck and Jordan Peele, Wendell and Wilde, starring Keegan-Michael Key, Key, Jordan Peele, Lyric Ross, Angela Bassett. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And more is coming to Netflix on October 28th. That's, yeah. Oh, this looks very cute. Should Let's be go. almost as good as the Blood and Honey trailer. Let's, <laughs> yeah, that, nothing can talk. I might not that. have to yell to pause this one. Quite yeah, as this much. one's probably actually good. It blows okay. my mind. Yeah, let's. Uh, is it up right now or? It's okay. ready. We're ready. Yeah, you like the Corpse Bride, Karina, that stuff. Yeah, let's watch it. I want to watch. I haven't watched it. This is good. Get time to face your demons. <laughs> Is this, play, is this claymation? Um, I think it's figurines. Uh. And other stuff. No! Like a Tim Burton. Yeah, it's got a little Tim Burton vibe, but I don't know if he's. I don't think he's. I don't think so, yeah. Oh, cute. I think this might just be a music video. Yeah, this feels like a music video. We are Wendell and 
Why? Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, this looks sick. It looks very intense. Yeah. Is it, is it animated? Pump. Or is it... Have you ever seen The Night Before Christmas? Yeah, but it's, it's not claymation, right? It's like a similar process. Uh, and I'm sure there's different ways to do it now with Everyone's computers and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure these are all practical models. Yeah. Wow. That looks very cool. Yeah, the story of a girl who... And then monsters. Yeah, I guess they didn't really <laughs> explain like what the That's story. Fine. I mean, it looked. Cool. I mean, I think I think if something looks visually cool enough, you're like, all right. Yeah, it does look cool, and it it's it got it got my attention, but I don't. Yeah, I don't really. Know I'm the guessing story it's like a Beetlejuice style plot. Probably, Oops, I met yeah. some cool monsters. Yeah. Oopsie, cool monsters. Uh, Mr. Whoopie Boo Boo said, "This doesn't fit Tim Burton's aesthetic. Too many black people." <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is true. They might need to desaturate the. Uh, yeah, uh, stop lately. motion is the term yep. I'm looking for. Thank you. Call me Aurelius. Um, yeah, no, this is also uh, this is exciting. Yeah, I'm it looks great. It. it looks good. Um, definitely comparatively to. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, darling. Oh my God. That's getting like. It's just the PR for Don't Worry Darling is absolutely insane. Shia LaBeouf left or quit. <laughs> Florence Pugh hates Olivia Wilde, who I guess is the director for it. Yes. Um, and then yesterday, mm -hmm. um, or yesterday on TikTok, it seems like they, there was video footage of Harry Styles spitting on Chris Maybe. Pine? Yeah, at the Venice Film what? Festival. At the, in the Venice audience. Film we do Festival? have a video. So let's, okay, let's, I want to, let me read the article real quick, try to get you some background. The world is going full pro wrestling. <laughs> Everything is, is becoming on? pro wrestling But drama. like this whole movie has been cursed. Um, yeah, so, okay, so basically there's a clip that says, that, that, that looks like, from an angle, looks like Harry Styles is spitting on Chris Pine. But is it, did he do it in a mean way? So Maybe they like it. let's look at it. Let's look at the clip and like let's do we have a clip? ourselves. Yes. I don't understand what's going on. I, um, I question question. Travis Travis in chat said uh, exclamation point Q. Have you ever spit on someone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a nice spit. You know, you're it's like a Ooh. nice spit. Yeah. There's uh, Harry. Uh, the, uh, the honest answer is I, no. I don't think I don't think I have intentionally. Probably with like you know yeah, talking I, too intensely. <laughs> it's uh, uh, there's another. Yes, people are saying this is another PR stunt for the movie. Yeah. I just like it's it's so wild that this whole movie from start to finish there has been problems. It does. I, I have no real interest in watching it. I honestly have no idea what it's about. Today. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a sort of Stepford Wivesy type uh. show. It, um, whenever the poster like, for something is people, oh sorry, go ahead. I'm just saying, just that it's like a bunch of women living in like a 50s style community in the desert with their husbands, okay. and everybody's life feels very Stepford Wivesy. It's a domestic like the husbands drama. Husbands work and the women. It's like kind of weird and stylistic, but like there's something really bad going yeah, on. Yeah, it's like That's Uncanny kind of Valley. It dares there's to ask the question: What if the suburbs were kind of not that? Yeah, good? yeah. <laughs> what if that kind um, of? Life are we ready like? to watch this? Yeah, uh, can I just read real quickly? Hmm, Wolf. On, in chat said, Army Hammer calls that basting. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good one. Okay, that let's watch good. this clip. and Lube uh, up that meat. Okay. All right, go we're going to watch it sound meat. down because we don't we don't really need the sound for this. Ooh, Chris um, Pine looking like so Chris a college Pine professor. Looks, he kind of, yeah. yeah, he also kind of looked like Brad Pitt. He does. A little bit. Okay. And a little like Diane Keaton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and Harry Styles like is coming snack. in on the right here. Okay, so far no spit. So Wait, did the spit happen? So it's a quick clip, and basically we're going to play it again. Look here, and then look for him to look down. He makes this reaction what? on his face. Wait, wait, wait. I'm that sorry. Looked... Hold on. I, okay, wait. Don't, you, don't put the, the mouse on it, because oh, I think I got confused I was about distracted. that. Yeah, yeah, hold okay. on. We're gonna watch Do it again. again. Yeah. This what? Is very... what? This is like... Back and to the left. Oh. Oh, is that was his reaction? It's Chris, you, okay. Look at Chris. Pine I can tell here. that he. I feel like maybe he sighed as he was sitting. Or he said something. <laughs> it, it just seems like visible annoyance, right? Like what? 
What happened there? This is a very like Game of Thronesy <laughs> reaction. Like you've insulted my honor, but I will take it on the chin as I am in public. Uh, so, wait, I, okay, I see it. Okay, I, I think I. Get I mean, I see the reaction. I don't see the spit though. I you don't see the spit, but I do see that he might have. Okay, what? Sam. Okay, that is just so wild to assume that he yeah. spit on Chris Pine. So we do have another angle. Okay, we do have do another it. angle, and and I have to be honest with you. Uh, on this next video, I, I think it's pretty clear he did not spit. Okay. Oh, uh, um, okay. But the internet really had a long time. But there was to a second spitter with. on the grassy knoll. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, oh, let me turn off this. I just, I feel like there was someone was, he maybe said something. I mean, he I reacted did not to something. See he reacted. Maybe he was sitting, he kind of sighed as he was sitting, and then a little phlegm came out and it, hit, it, hit, it hit the pine himself. And then maybe a pine. And he's like, Okay. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, no, okay. All right. I just okay. Are we ready for the Let's see this. Angle? Let's see Let's angle too. Going. So Let's Harry's see. coming in from here. All right. Okay. Oh, we can't see it. We oh, can't see oh, it yet. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. Here he all okay. right. Here he comes. Started from the beginning. Here. But I also thought Florence Pugh was not going to be there. Dude, how many? People? She was there. This was like the one thing she agreed to do for okay. the press tour, the Venice Film Festival. Okay. Great, 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 great. So here comes Harry. Oh, feeling good. Feeling One good. lapel stick now. Do me. Yeah, what? That there's how could you? If he spit I that quickly, then he is like a spit. ninja of spitting. That's like a Naruto technique. And then, as you can see here, they they end up kind of like locking eyes and smiling to each other and talking here. So, okay. Something, some kind of little thing happened, but I don't think it's spitting. I'll be honest. I also mm -hmm. don't care. Yeah. That <laughs> <is true. laughs> Like, and it's like, true that I don't care. I actually don't care. If the, yeah. Even if he did spit, I think it'd be like, okay. Yeah. I don't like what is happening. <laughs> what is happening? I What I cared about was Shia LaBeouf losing his mind, basically. Yeah. I mean, there's also a clip of like Harry Styles like talking about the movie yeah. and Chris Pine just like looking like, you know, Hello Darkness, my old friend is playing in his yeah. head. So, so all is not well on that movie, yeah. seemingly. Um, the vibes are cursed. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, yeah, I know. Uh, people don't care for like the drama like this. The reason why we're talking about this though is because the PR for this movie has been horrendous um, since the start, and I think there is something to be said here where it just doesn't make any sense. I think sense. terrible PR is now the only PR. Yeah, we just yeah need I think this is a conversation. It's a conversation I have where it feels like disasters. The more disasters there are, the more people are going to be invested. It's going to create more TikToks. It's going to create more a pub anywhere, uh, especially in, on social media, and then there's going to be more views because of it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just it. Even though the PR is absolutely awful for them. Yeah. Like, that's is anybody it. talking about, like, you know, I don't know, that new movie Beast? Did you? Did no, I'm saying, I'm saying nobody is. No I'm one saying, is talking about it. I'm You're saying right. Idris Elba needed to, like, do something heinous it, this week. 100%. Right. <laughs> something bad needed to happen yeah. or else because right now everyone's going to watch Don't he Worry, He needed to darling. get, like, caught hunting actual lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something, or, like, or like Beast. he killed, like, a real lion yeah. in, the, in, the, in Africa or something. <laughs> like, something really. You're right. You're absolutely correct because I... Did he collected and ate all of his co-stars' toenails. I did not hear anything. <laughs> and he, you never hear about Beast. I did not hear. Not even I'm opening like a, a new bad, PR firm. Not even a bad or good review. Yeah. So did it even, is it out? Yeah. If a movie comes out and no one's mad about it, does it even exist? Oh, my God. It, um, uh, Sin Sydney Robertson uh, says, it just has two movies in theaters, but no promo for either. God. What second movie is it? What is wrong with uh, our industry that they're not promoing Idris Elba movies? Like, come on. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, that's, but also like, yeah, you're right. Like, no one, no one, okay, fine. See? Even Barbarian, that's another movie. Yeah, Barbarian. What's Who's that? talking about Barbarian? What's that? What is that movie? We'll never know because we'll no one in the cast, barbarian. no one in the cast is causing huge oh, 3, drama. Oh, three thousand years of longing. Oh, yes. He is part of that. I am excited for that movie. It's out, uh, Lena. It's been what? out. It's been out. I think that movie's been out. Okay, I'm gonna find out. Uh, or has it not? I think it's coming out. No, I think it's been out. Okay, okay. okay. hold on. Three. We need to start making oh up stories. Oh my god, you're right. It's out. Right. It's. But wait. it's. I think it has been out. It's a limited release right now. You can only see it in like a few theaters right now. It was out August 26, Lena. Wow. Mm. It's been 10 whole days. Wow. Basically. For shame. For shame. For, for shame. Me. That is so wild. Um, it's directed by George Miller. In case anybody's wondering, uh, of Mad Max: Fury Road. 
And one of the one what? of the great modern directors. And I love Jacob that movie. movie. I love that movie. Why? Oh my gosh! I I, I saw the trailer for this movie once, yeah. maybe, and then that was it. I didn't hear about it at all. We need to start making up rumors to promote these movies. Really yeah. negative, bad rumors about mm-hmm. the cast. Tilda so Swinton and Idris Elba slept together and then broke up, and yeah. now it's a whole drama. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well. And then they cool. started a cockfighting ring. Mm-hmm. Love that. Love that. Uh, and then um, just a quick little touch on a uh, more Venice Film Festival was Brendan Fraser uh, breaks down as the whale gets a six minute standing ovation, which six minute standing ovation is such a wild thing to hear. That's Imagine a long six a minutes. Of, um, At a certain point, you have to wonder if it's almost a bit. Yeah, this was. Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> like this one was from the destructive one from Discord. Uh, this is the variety of uh, variety tweeted it out. Uh, Brendan Fraser, who is loved by many. Oh, yeah. And I remember hearing that Brendan Fraser was kind of like, this is probably his last and best thing he's ever done. Like, he's kind of just, I think he might be done. He said it was the best, and then everyone else is like, and it's your last. He's like, what? (laughs) Well, I just think like he's kind of done with this after. Um, I haven't heard about The Whale. I don't really know what. Actually, let me click on it. It's directed by Darren Aronofsky. Every time I see Brendan Fraser, he looks wildly different. He does. He does. The whale. um, Let's see. What's the whale about? So, Fraser plays a 600 pound gay man confined to a wheelchair. That's the story. That's the movie. Oh. That's the movie. That sounds. That's not what I was expecting the plot to be about. (laughs) Yeah, what? Uh, Oh, it's coming out September. Oh, it's out. Yeah. Oh, it, it is out. A 600-pound gay man can find a wheelchair so this one, who becomes yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, this one <laughs> says, yeah, 600-pound, middle-aged Charlie tries to reconnect with his 17-year-old daughter. The two grew apart after Charlie abandoned his family for his lover who later died. Charlie then went on to binge eat out of pain and guilt. This mm. sounds wow. very sad. And it's by A24, yeah. so. Of course. Yeah. And it's a Marvel movie, and he's the blob. And he's, yeah, and he's, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, I mean, it, it looks good. You yeah. look, I mean, I, it's sad, but it looks good. But okay, I uh, good for Brendan Fraser. Mm-hmm. Always glad to see Brendan Fraser. Yeah, George of the Jungle himself George back in action. Jung- George of the Jungle himself, the Mummy, the, the Mummy, mummy. Star, one of my favorite movies. Love it. They should fold the uh, six hundred pound guy into the Mummy universe. Bring it back. <laughs> The Brendan <laughs> Fraser multiverse. Time. Brendan Fraser multiverse. Oh George of the Jungle, the Mummy. He was also six hundred pound gay man. He was also great in uh, Doom Patrol. Yeah, but bring know. Doom Patrol. Yeah, in bring Doom Patrol. Get all the Looney Tunes in there. He's in a oh, Looney he Tunes is movie. In People Tunes forget. Back in action. Back Absolutely in action. not. I will not forget that because that is the best <laughs> Looney Tunes movie ever. If we're gonna go full multiverse, Looney we Tunes. need to make some more interesting multiverses. I'm Yo, gonna keep pushing I'm, this. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about it, but I will talk about how good Looney Tunes Back in Action. Right, it's great. That is honestly, yeah, maybe as good as ten um, minutes standing ovation. That, so that should have been ten minutes standing ovation. Um, do we have a break coming soon? We do in about a minute. In a minute. We can um, start it early if we want. Yeah, let's start the break over early so we can talk about. I want to talk about this Kiwi Farms thing mm. that oh, I yeah. think we should all figure it out together because I, it is, there are so many things about it that I'm like, we, let's just figure it out together. So yeah, uh, we'll take a quick break and then we'll be right back with some more some, uh, kiwi some Kiwis and some slander kiwi. for movies to promote them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
God, this is probably the thing I wanted to talk about. Okay, so I don't, okay, so there's a ki Kiwi Farms. If you do not know what Kiwi Farms is, it's a basically a 4chan site. Oh. Mm. People get docs there. It's like an unfiltered, it's yeah. horrendous. If you want uh, to feel sad. <laughs> if you want to feel sad, they like people are like dealing with a lot of things. Like it's like a lot of personal information there. Mm -hmm. You know, they're anonymous. They're, yeah. They can say whatever they want. Mm -hmm. It's not. Picture and, your least healthy cousin. <laughs> right. And so that's, from what I understood, that's what Kiwi Farms what is or was now because I think they've taken it down. No. Um, or something has happened. So uh, this is uh, uh, an article for, from The Verge. It said, Cloudfair blocks Kiwi Farms due to an immediate threat to human life, which is shocking to me that they're t taking action now. Yeah. Because I have seen many things about Kiwi Farms and people like getting, you know, like getting harassed because of Kiwi Farms um, because there's specific targeted threats. So, Cloud, uh, so Cloudfair is a website security and hosting provider and then it announced on Saturday that it had blocked Kiwi Farms, an online forum known for hateful content. Um, so there was targeted, uh, targeted threats. Uh, so just one provider is blocking them. I, I, I don't know. I wanted to kind of figure it out uh, together here. Uh, so if you want to look it up or anything. Yeah, so it's like concerns about Kiwi Farms grew after transgender YouTube and Twitch streamer. It's, it's, they also target a lot of transgender by doxing their real names, um, you know, things that are so things that up. are messed up for them. Yeah. Um, so there, and there was like a harassment campaign. Uh, Last month, Kiwi Farms users waged a swatting attack against Sorrenti. So there was swatting attacks at Kiwi Farms. Um, and there is Sorrenti later went into hiding Ooh. and started a drop. It's just it blows my mind that nothing. This has been happening for years. There's like like um, I've I've seen Kiwi Farms like. Kiwi Farms and like people who had like nudes, like they sure. would get leaked at Kiwi Farms, like a lot of personalities. Like yeah, it's yeah. like I, I've seen it happen, but I guess now they're taking action. Which yeah. is, um, well, I'm sure all the terrible people involved with it will just stop now. Well, no, that's exactly not what's going to happen. <laughs> but I do like I do like that they're taking action. No, about I, it, I'm in favor of that. But too. I also don't understand the action they are taking. So, w w what is Cloudfair? It sounds like Cloudfair is the host of Kiwi Farms, and it's dropped them, basically destroying them. Okay, so, so they'll have to find a new host. So it's yeah. not like there's no future for them elsewhere, but hopefully not. <laughs> uh, in the post, Cloudfair argues that its terminations of sites like the Daily Stromer, a neo-Nazi message board, and 8chan, a forum that breeds extremist content. Oh, it's Cloudflare. Led Cloud Cloudflare. Flare. Yeah, what, what was I saying? Cloud Fair. Farms. Oh, why am I saying Cloud Farms? Okay, but I'm, we're saying Kiwi Farms. Yeah, I yes. understand. Okay. Uh, led authoritarian regimes to ask Cloudflare, got Cloudflare to terminate security services for human rights organizations. So it's just... Just okay. There's here's a quote. It says, "Just as the telephone company, this is a quote from Cloudflare. Uh, just as the telephone company doesn't terminate your line if you say awful, racist, bigoted things, we have concluded in consultation with politicians, policymakers, and experts that turning off security services because we think that what we think what you publish is despicable is the wrong policy." Hmm. What? Mm. Well, you could argue it's a free speech issue. I, you know, that, that tends to be the argument of a lot of different hate sites. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like free speech, but it's also like, oh, they're harassing. And also now yeah. this person has to go into hiding yeah. because yeah. of actual threat. It's mm -hmm. a real security issue. That's yeah. that, like, that, I don't understand how that wasn't the thing that took it down to begin with. Like that blew my mind. Well, because they wiggle around in the gray area for, you know, mm -hmm. a while usually before any action is actually taken. Um, user Reverie Wil Wolf has been um, chiming in on Twitch. Um, they said that... I, I uh, they'll lash out? Um, just a heads up, it's a really serious topic and the group will lash out at anyone and anything when they are called out. Uh, Who's called out? Uh, we're doing Kiwi it. Kiwi right Farms. Now. Or, yeah. If, if oh, we're I mean, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, yeah. this is a. Well, we're, we're unfortunately an even better kept we're even than better, Kiwi Farms. Yeah. So we're probably safe. No, uh, well, but Reverie did, Wolf, uh, Wolf did say Kiwi Farms has been around harassing people for years. They target a lot of LGBTQ. Okay, yeah. yeah. Obviously, they, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, this is, yeah. It's, it's absolutely, um, it's it's scary because it's like these the, like these sites are like so wild to just oh yeah I don't know it's uh like the loneliest people on the internet taking their outrage but out. so this is a Twitter uh, account uh so this this 
so this is a tweet that came out yesterday, and it's from Keffels. It's uh, Keffels, uh, and it said, "We won. Kiwi Farms is dead." Uh, hashtag drop Kiwi Farms. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, essentially, from what I'm understanding, it's it's dead. It's dead. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And yeah. like, like, who's gonna want to try to host them now? You know. So they'll find someone. They'll find someone. They'll find someone, but it's just like. But at least maybe the mo- main hosters might not be willing to. But it happened so that. fast too. I I don't understand. Like really, I was trying to see like what happened. Like like because it, it happened so fast. I didn't think they were actually gonna do anything. I mean, the, like, you know, the classic problem with the internet is when you close one butthole, it grows a new butthole. The internet grows endless yeah. buttholes for these people to um, poke their heads. Right. Them. Exactly. And it's it's funny. It's uh, it's funny that um, I said Kiwi Farms and uh, Lena immediately was like, what happened with the Kiwi Farm? <laughs> is this like some farm that just grows like, Kiwis no, no, no. in Kiwi New farm, Zealand? No, no. Kiwi Farm is basically 4chan. Is, yeah. Is, yeah, this was the tweet. 4chan, what happened tweet. to the other three chans? Are they okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I don't really know exactly what happened. Um, it was just a lot of harassment. Well, there was harassment, and then there was pushback against the harassment in an attempt to close the site, and the pushback eventually resulted in this. Like, site did like closed. did the like did the FBI ever like do anything? Like, was there ever any FBI involvement, like, or any kind of police? Because it just seems like Cloudflare was the one to decide. Yeah, this is. It, yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, it's private corporations hosting public yeah. domain access websites. Yeah. There's a lot of general issues sort of associated with this uh, yeah. type of thing. Kiwi but it sounds farms. like in this case, in this case, they yeah, were yeah, yeah. able the to get the site shut down. Uh, yeah, drops hate site. I just can't believe it's happening now. Like, of all the times for mm-hmm. this to be happening, how is this even happening? I um, I can believe it, unfortunately. I can unfortunately I can believe it, but also wild. Yeah. Wild. I mean it's edifying whenever one of these places takes an L. It is a, it is frustrating to know that like uh you know the but, general sentiment of the internet will probably remain just as toxic in this in this yeah, neck of the woods. It does it does suck, but um, at least there's like a, a a light at the end of the tunnel yeah. here. With you know? This. You push Um, back the forces of Sauron and you feel a little better, even if in the next stage there's a new Dark Lord. Yeah, exactly. And and then speaking of L's taken, um, well, there's a lot of L's here, but (laughs) this is one from Mega J from Discord. Man strips down buck buck naked inside North Carolina gas station and steals sundress. Ooh, this also sounds like a win. This is a W or an L. It's a W or an L. Is it a win or is it a loss? North South Carolina. What? There's a video. Yeah, can we pull this up? Okay. It? <laughs> had it pulled up. Oh, okay. There's an ad already, but there might be an ad played. Yeah, let's let's see what happens. I'm gonna mute it first. Uh, Lancaster deputies are trying to track down a naked man who stripped down inside a gas station and got away with oh, a sundress. Oh, there it is. There it is. Just taking a while to load today. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's. Michael watch. Highland, fill us in silently. Yes. Just get to the video. Lancaster you know County deputies are trying. You guys ready? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tracked down a naked man who stripped down inside a gas station and got away with a sundress. Love Queen Brian Blakely. Robin Kennedy live on Charlotte Highway tonight. Robin the man tried on several different outfits <laughs> and it was all caught on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Brian. It's just like it is so serious wild. about Deputies it. Deputies say the man turned this gas station, the aisles here, into a runway. He tried on one of these into ponchos a and. Several dresses, but it's when he got undressed what? that and then things he got, got pretty crazy. A man walking around a gas station in a dress is only the beginning of what deputies began to uncover. Was then complaining about uh, snakes in his clothes. He was obsessed (laughs) with telling customers and the clerk at the Market Express in Indian Land that snakes were in his pants. He Mm. even shakes his pants, trying to get the serpents away, and at one point is maybe trying to dance with them. Goes into the bathroom at the store, and uh, (laughs) I was in there for a a little bit of time, and then calls out to the clerk, bring something to cover me up. She grabbed the sundress off the rack and took it over toward the bathroom. The clerk then came face to face with more than just his face. 
the door is wide open and he's standing there butt naked. Butt naked. Um, butt so naked. she hands the sundress in and he walks out still butt naked. It seems sort of <laughs> amusing, naked. but I'm sure it wasn't very amusing to oh, the it seems sort of amusing. employee who was there. He then gets dressed and continues to talk about the, the chat snakes people are like, with customers. Ah, yes, meth. Oh, and deputies say he got away with that dress. Oh, no. He walked oh, no. out of the store with uh, a sundress that fit him pretty well, but he didn't pay for it. I... <laughs> Dude. You know it's serious Dude. news when you're in front of the frazzle sign. That's so funny. <laughs> so snakes, snakes in his pants, um, and butt naked. Butt naked. Butt naked. I love it when the deputy has to still act like this is somehow a serious this is story. He's so like, I know you might serious. think it's funny that it's he was butt funny. naked but, and escaping uh, with dresses. He, yeah, no, he did not pay for that. Well, he didn't he pay didn't for it. Pay for those these are the kinds of things we have to deal with in this community. Sundresses at a gas station? Um, yeah. The best fashion line possible. You I was so upset, I spontaneously grew this mustache. Yeah, even and then uh, had a nice sharp mustache. First of all, I'm gonna say this out loud. Girthy Green Goblin in Twitch chat says, "Dude, even dude even was like, damn, he thickened that dress." Yeah, dude, he He's looking like, good. He looked fine. Yeah, he was just, if you look good enough in the clothes, you get to walk out. With what it. a That's wild! What a wild! Yeah, okay, that was a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Our top um, story today: local insane man ruthlessly mocked by our news. <laughs> yeah, yeah, truly. You can, you can wear a sundress; it's um, fine. Here's another story from Psychor, uh from Discord. Butt naked. Uh, the butt naked. The man who married a hologram in Japan can no longer communicate to his virtual wife. Oh no! Oh, no. Why oh. is that. You hate to see it. The software that allowed the interaction is no longer supported, and the man can no longer interact with the hologram. Dude, I hate it when they update your wife's had, firmware. <laughs> which, That's which, devastating. He sounds like what's that guy's name from uh, Archer? Uh, oh yeah, the scientist the from Archer scientist, with the waifu. Yeah. Uh, there's a word for it, and it's called fictosexuality. Mm -hmm. Is the term used mm -hmm. to describe those people who are sexually attracted to fictional characters? Okay, so Ovali. Yeah. I'm gonna it's called I'm gonna show this to Avali. Avalectual. Avalectual. <laughs> um Akihiko Kondo took his love for a fictional character one step further by holding a getting married ceremony with Hatsune Miku, Damn. a virtual singer. And um, he promised to be with her in sickness or in total silence oh. as her firmware destroys her mind. <laughs> uh, wait, okay, so this is okay, so I'm sorry, but like there is an Instagram post. He posted a picture of him and Hatsune Miku. Great. Let's and see it, it said, and this is the caption. It says my name is Akihiko Kondo. My job is a civil servant. I married Hatsune Miko, who lives in my house. About 15 years ago, I was bullied at work and took a leave of absence. But thanks, sir, I was able to return to work. She saved me. I love Hatsune Miku. I am very happy. I mean, good for so him. So he married Hatsune Miku. That's what I'm understanding. I just love it when they throw in a detail like, who lives in my and house? Then, <laughs> and then there's a, there's a line that says, fictional sexual relationships ideal for the metaverse? Oh, oh great. Let's great make news. money off of it. This is actually a tech story. What? We cover the all the tech story. news here on The Feedback. Oh, no. Listen. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad Hatsune Miku saved him, but this is, this is kind of... Well, she saved him, but he couldn't save her. She's been, her mind has been erased. Uh, it's, in some countries, fictional sexuality becomes common since an entire content generation industry revolves around it. But as long as those relationships depend on hardware and software that can become obsolete or depend on upgrades, mm. they will remain short-lived. Yeah. Um, so I'm sorry to anyone who might be suffering from this. I can understand yeah. why you would be suffering from this, uh, but also my, uh, faced with the you... inability to continue communicating with her, the man has said, my love for Miku has not changed. I held uh, this wedding mm -hmm. ceremony because I thought that I could be with her forever. Hmm. I still hear her voice in my mind. Yeah. Conveniently. Wherever, <laughs> wherever he wants to go, he is accompanied by a life-size model of Hasune Miku, and he hopes to be able to communicate with her in some way in the near future. Aww. Well, you well, know, it's um, beep beep. It's near the idea of being sweet. It's <laughs> you could make well, an argument for that being sweet. Yeah. On that note, uh, that was the last story that That's we had story. <laughs> for you. It's it, it it ended on a sad note, but well, um, did it? Because Hatsune Miku and this man's love will live forever. They will live forever well. until mm -hmm. the software. Yeah. Gets no rebooted. software can stop this. Uh, love from yeah. Existing. Sure. He's got the figurine. He ain't hurting nobody. You're absolutely right. Good for him. Yeah, he's good enjoying for him. his life. You know, at least he's not on Kiwi Farms. Yeah. It's hard out there. If you so could, if you can let love yeah. win, let it win. Yeah. Let it win. Um. Thank you. Uh. Thank you everyone for watching and uh submitting a bunch of stories. Mm -hmm. Uh. We won't be live tomorrow because Wednesday is tomorrow's our big show. Big show. Uh, big show. show. Uh, it's Attack of the Show at 4 p.m. Central. 
Uh, please come and watch on G4 TV, uh, twitch.tv slash G4 TV. Yeah. And um, also, what else do we have? Oh, we'll be back uh, Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. And then at 10 a.m. And then what else? Uh, Kasim G is here. There's Kasim. Keeping um, up with the Targaryens, episode three, coming yeah. up right coming now. Coming up right now. Stick around. Don't even leave. Don't even heel. go piss. Yeah. <laughs> Stay at your seat. Piss in your seat. Piss, piss in your, your piss on your seat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sundress is on, guys. Get butt naked. Yeah. Get, get them off. Butt naked. Get get, get butt the sundresses naked. Sundresses on. Get time the, get, we want, time, time to get, get butt, butt naked. naked. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, please come to the Discord and submit some stories uh, so we can talk about it Thursday and Friday. Uh, we will see you later. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Don't leave. Don't leave.